What's up guys? This week on Gun Brothers, we're going to be doing a review on the 7.62 by 54R Nagant. Mike's got his there on with the bayonet, mine up top. Um, these are the rounds. The bulk ammo. These are probably about 20 cents around. I don't know, 60 years old or something. Maybe even more, I'm not sure. The just the normal pickup that you get which varies, you can either get two of these ammo pouches that carry the 20 round packs, which is this. Mike here got a set of tools with his, which comes with everything you need to obviously disassemble, clean, it has a few little cleaning tip things for you there. Um, I know with mine, I got this sling and two ammo pouches is all, instead of the tool kit. Also, you get this little oil oil container. I'm not sure what they're doing or what, but it does come with these. It's separated in the middle. The guns are usually dipped in cosmoline, so that's probably the one bad thing about buying one, I guess, because it takes... It's really cheap, though. Yeah, it, it doesn't take very long. It just preserves it. It's worth it. You just get some paper towels, a blow dryer, or sit it out in the sun all day. And just keep wiping it off. After that, you got a clean bolt, clean bore, and... Prices vary from oh, yeah, I about that. 90 bucks to 120 depending on what you get. Um, the hex receiver is more expensive, we both have the round, but still fires just as great. And let's get shooting. Alright, we got a stripper clip loaded here, we got an empty one, these are relatively cheap. Um, these are aftermarket ones. These aren't like the legit ones that um, were in World War II, but you probably can get those. Probably more expensive. But these were like five bucks for five of them, just a dollar each. Just like that. So mine's a little stiff. Yeah, these are not good quality stripper clips, but. How you do it? It's a bolt action, obviously. Holds five rounds of the magazine. Um, has adjustable sight right here for various yards. On um, the gun's relatively easy to take down. You just take these screw uh, these rings off, and then there's a screw right here and a screw on the back, and then it just pops out. All right, guys, we're all set up here at the range. We got a bunch of those hot chocolate canister things that you buy at the store. Fill them up with water, put some food coloring in them. Um, they're up there about 100 ish yards ish, um, maybe a little more. Um, we'll get back to you after they're gone. Can we shoot bottom left that glass off the top? Like we said before, it's four down, one up. Hit a rock. I know it launched it. Did you hear that? Yeah, it blew up. It's close. It's okay. Oh, 
Oh! <laughs> oh! So we decided to scoot a little bit closer. Can't even see our targets, don't have a scope. Not a point in that. It's a beautiful day. Roughly 120 degrees out here. God! Here, I'll shoot that kid out there. Straight through, man! Going straight through. Alright, so middle one right here. Have the bayonet on. Makes it a little bit heavier. Again. Nah, that one that I wounded earlier, or Carson did, I don't know. Ah! Oh! Alright, let's try this jug right here. That's full of rocks. Okay. Full of rocks. <laughs> oh, this thing destroys rocks. Mud shot. Okay, we're gonna shoot the mud. See what it looks like. <laughs> is that loud? Yeah. <laughs> this is our FMJ test. Solid steel pole. Okay, it's <laughs> our FMJ test, salt still pole. Let's go look at the damage. Aftermath of our FMJ test here. Did not go all the way through. It didn't go through this pole, it just hit and broke the weld there. Let's see if we can see the, the hit mark on that white rock up there. Alright, that's probably about 400 yards. Let her rip. And always, be safe out there. Hi right, guys, that was our video on the Nagant. It's an awesome gun. Just to go out and clink, the ammo really is not that expensive. You can buy 440 rounds for about 90 to 100 bucks. You can even get it cheaper than that if you go online. Um, it's extremely easy to clean. You do need to clean them, however, the first day or within the first three days because the bore with that ammo is high corrosive, so you need to get it cleaned out or your bore will rust out. Also, a cool little feature on the Nagant is this range compensator here. It has two little brackets on the side that you push in, slides up the sight, has numbers on the side so you know exactly what yardage you want to do it at instead of having to guess where you should be shooting. Next week on Gun Brothers, we have a little surprise for you.